Hi there, Tucson, Arizona. This is Amber Johnson with Helping the Good People here in Tucson, Arizona. Ha! I'm just kind of chilling. I'm in a workspace environment now, and I'm just, I'm going to show you something. I'm kind of going over all kinds of cool stuff. I've got my laptop up and running. You know, and there's my Facebook. Yeah. So, hi, Marissa. This is your mom, uh, Marissa Ann calling out to you to let you know that I am okay and I, I know you are I know I raised you and you are a strong woman and uh, I trust in everything you're doing in case you forgot um, about that last letter that you left to me it kind of broke me down and hurt my feelings a little bit but I understand where you're going from but first of all you need to know something sweet pea you don't know what I went through or how much I love you and what I've done to protect you and Jake and Sally. So just know that, that I'm sitting here today, starting a business, working with friends. I'm sober still, and I'm doing okay, and I had my surgery, okay? From what James and them did to me. I mean, you know it. You went through it. You know what's going on. I just wanted to hug you, girl. I want you to surprise me at the stadium someday. Walk in and just see what I'm doing and meet some of my friends, and then you can help me. That's all I want. I want to help. I need help with this, sweet pea. You know how to do this. And guess what? Lizzie Villa said she used to be a cosmetologist. Yeah. She was a cosmetologist, and she would love to meet you. Everybody is waiting to meet you, girl. And they're all saying prayers for us, helping the good people. I'm going to start another GoFundMe, girl. GoFundMe site for helping the good people for us get a home and help others. That's all we're doing. That's all I'm doing, love you. Sweetie, I love you. Jake and Sally, this is your mom. I know you're watching these videos. You think I'm famous. <laughs> It is so sweet. You know, I call you guys all the time, and I have to hear your voice, or else I don't know you're okay. And uh, I try to make it a regular routine, but sometimes Mommy gets sad, you know, and hearing your voices and knowing that Mommy can't do anything because we've done everything. And it's been 11 years. 10 years, Jakey. You're 10 years old now. Look at me. My hands are shaking, guys. I'm sorry about this, but this is to my kids. And uh, Mommy is starting her business and doing all kinds of cool stuff. Because soon, you guys are going to be running around with me, being in all these videos. And all of you in Tucson and everyone watching all these crazy videos, I never know what I'm going to say or do. I just do. And uh, I have faith and hope and compassion and such love in my heart that every time I get around people, it's like, boom, it's a magnet. Found out in German, my name Amber means electron. Funny thing is, is that I've always told everybody I'm like a magnet. I'm like, zip, zip, zip. Yep. Well, you get me around my kids and you bring, reunite me and my family and the, the loves of my life. Give me back life and love again. Instead of domestic violence for 20 years and fighting back and being an attorney and uh, yeah, it's kind of scary, man, being my own attorney, giving away the evidence in a court of law, man. It's awesome feeling. It's exhilarating because you're scared and you know what you're doing and you're doing what's right. And that's all I've been doing. So that's how I created helping the good people because that's what it is, helping others. See you guys. Hey kids. See? Mommy's just helping others. In the meantime, we're just playing music and singing and dancing and recording and telling stories. That's how I was raised in my family, Cherokee Native. I don't know, my grandma was always doing some weird stuff and letting me drink coffee at 10, at 10 years old, running around outside building forts. And uh, I think I even put up a birdcage thing with my uh, friend. It was like really, really tall posts and then it just at the end when we got the fence around it it just toppled but hey we did it i uh come on help me create guys sweet pea mommy loves you no matter what i already told you even if you killed someone i'd still be right here loving you because i'm your mom i grew you in my belly in my heart you saved my life and you love my stories 
And I know you want to hug. So come hug me. Call me. You have my number. At least I left it in your car a few times. <laughs> I don't want no more drama. No more drama. I don't need to deal with no crazy people anymore. Jake and Sally, mommy loves you. And you stay strong and you pray every day. And you keep on praying with mommy too because that's what you've been doing. Remember, God loves us all. Battle of the Sexes is now on Facebook, closed group, and it is now home jams, interviews, anything you can think of, fundraisers, benefits. We're going to start posting videos and everything there. That is what it's for. It's My main cause is domestic violence, guys, and standing up for others, doing phase two, whatever it takes. We need voices heard. We need stories out there to kind of confirm what I've been saying all along, the long-term effects over a 20-year period with family, friends, even going to jail. I went to jail. I like to tell everybody, everyone saw my picture at the Pima County Jail, man, I'll tell you. I might have uh, violated, but I did my time, I'll tell you that. And now I'm paying the consequences still, and I'm taking responsibility and accountability. And that's all we can do, right? So even though I sat in there, I just told everybody when they saw my picture and I was smiling, and they said, why do you look so happy to be in here? I said, I'm in here for love. Because I know what I'm doing. And I know what I'm fighting for. And I know what happened to me in my life. Yes. So, you guys stay tuned. This is Amber Johnson in Tucson, Arizona. 39 years old, single mom. I have three beautiful children. And I'm calling out to all of you out there to encourage you to start going live and doing your own videos. And in the meantime, if you want to share your story on domestic violence, anything else, or music or future events, or if you've got an organization that you want me to walk into and sell like a future event for good causes, for donations, because I'm setting up my next event, which is a car wash. Yes. Car wash, meet and greet, photos, you name it. Anyone else want to get involved in that? Better let me know soon, because I'm doing this all by myself, sitting here with no one around. Everyone's at work, and I'm working. That's what I'm doing. I'm building my business. Stay tuned.